Hello everyone, happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and today's of which is on Dueling Club from 2002. So on the front of the booklet, you see that old school border that we've seen for all these other sets, set number 4733, and then Lego logo, old school logo, and picture of everything in that there is. And then on the back, add of all the sets and how they can come together, of course. So, and then just the last building sets. So for our minifig selection. As we get from left to right, got Harry Potter himself and Draco Malfoy, who of which are just about the same as in most other sets. And then also on the right is classic Severus Snape with the glow-in-the-dark headpiece, which if you've seen some of my other Throwback Thursday reviews, I showed that they, they glows and all. But a lot of which are just quite repetitive, but the only exclusive one is classic Gildroy Lockhart in his bit in this green outfit. Well, who will along with the Chamber of Secrets set, of which which were the only ever ways to ever get Gildroy Lockhart, well, at least until we never got another version of him, until the uh, 2020 got, uh, Diagon Alley set, of course. So, and if we look from the back, no back torso print, nor double side face since the older figures. Here's the end. And of course, the uh, hair piece and face prints quite well suiting to that of Gildroy Lockhart, of course. So, that's about it with him. And first off for the builds is this little platform like thing, which is probably supposed to be or represented as the table that Harry and Draco are stand it right on to and also Gildroy Lockhart or Lockhart does walk on as well let me see see kind of basic just bricks and plates of course well as for the main feature which is if you turn the sand green cylinders right there and they just pop right off of course and of course you all, you all probably know how it's done with the classic trap door pieces and a couple of Technic beams in there or with those special connectors. Of which, simple but well effective feature. Unless if you had to put them on the studs and do kind of the same, of course. And now onto the actual part of it itself which as you can see it's, it's pretty much like another uh, section of Hogwarts that can you that you can just plop right into the rest of the diorama of course and of course have the big large uh, cylinder pieces in tan quite nice and also another one of those big large brick pieces as the base and also do get the nice build for the throne that it tends to swivel back and forth, of course. And on the back of it is a black snake piece. Yes, and also off to the side is a little barrel where you can store additional wands into. And also this printed tile piece. Which also came in the Green Gots Bank set. So if you weren't, so it's kind of a cheaper alternative to getting that instead of the the, the Green Gots Bank set, of course. And also, like the classic Hogwarts Castle set, have those uh, lion brick pieces, which all which are simply reused from some older castle lines, of course. And as for the top part of it, which are simply a few uh, tan jagged slopes and also a couple of which do have a little jumper there not sure what for but whatever and also 
classic owl piece in tan or in dark brown. Also quite nice. <clears throat> and of course, well soon cool enough to fit your silver snake guinea pig into a course. And of course, there's the four jagged slopes, or so you can mount another uh, section of it onto it, which in the back advertisement is kind of double stacking on a couple of ones, of course. And enough space for that. Also, a little neat thing that I can do is. If you put a couple additional plates on top, is so you can get easy access to plopping this table on and off for easy storage and everything. Yeah, oh, which great for that. And so now on to the final verdict. Oh, hang on. Overall, this I think this is which a quite good set for at what it is. Like it's a good sequence in the Chamber of Secrets film, and of course, the main highlight is the exclusive green version of Gildroy Lockhart, of course. There's and also a couple of exclusive pieces like the uh, tile piece and also these banners with the Hogwarts crest on them, of course. There's and of course, do get a fun feature with this table build, of course. Although you can probably just simply put a couple of pl of tubes underneath it to make it elevated, like an actual table, of course. And so at least plenty of good, fun features to it. I'm sure back in the day it was a good set and still kind of is now, but yeah. And if you're looking to get, if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, or at least want to add it to your uh, old school Hogwarts display, then also definitely pick this up. And that's about it on eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.